Hello students, I welcome you to the online teaching session of Gokhale Education Society, English Medium, HL High School, Ozer Township. Today we are going to learn lesson number 5, Family Values, subject EVS 1. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the family which is made up of parents, children, grandparents, uncle, aunt. So, the persons who are living in our family, they are living in our house, they are the members of our family. From these family members, we children, we learn some values. One point which is mentioned here in this lesson, the first point is role in decision making. When we are living with our family members, each and every person has its own likes and dislikes. Each individual is different. His views are different. His thoughts are different. His thinking is different. We have to love and accept the decisions of our family members. We should respect and obey our family members. We talk about each other before making decisions of any of the problem which is our family problem we discuss with each other and we take a decision we consult each other and in this way we are a part of decision making or in the family and we become a member and we express our opinions now continuing with this point what happens when everyone has a role in decision making so, we all in the family members have an opportunity to express our views for that particular problem. And we learn to discuss and respect others' opinion also. And we feel important. We feel a part of the family. We think they care for us and we respect each other. So, when we develop a habit of giving decisions in the family decisions we also develop a personality in the outside our house in decision making in public or in the village where we are staying then we try to express our views through through media through newspaper and we express our own opinions for the problem of our society for our surrounding for our village city and we help also to the government plans. Yes, we, when we develop a personality, when we grow up as an individual, we also send suggestions to, to the government to implement plans in our area. Which is the example which is given here that how we participate when we grow up as an individual. The example is giving, given here municipal budget planning or when development plan for a city or inauguration of a road or joining a road to the villages. Two, three examples for the implemented, implementation of government programs. Yes, the government which provides us public facilities. We also suggest to the government how to develop our area or our surrounding. If we feel there should be some changes, we suggest for those changes. And everyone has a role to express his view for changing the surrounding. Yes, we have a right to express our views, freedom of speech. We have the right according to our constitution for suggesting our opinion to the government. The government we elect then makes decisions for regarding the public matters and the decision made by the government if it's wrong we can express the view of us that your decision is wrong in this way we can be a part of decision making process the next point effects of honest and dishonest behavior when we are in our family our we as children our parents also teach us this moral value to always speak the truth. In school also teachers, then our elders 
they always teach us this moral value that we should always be honest if we do the dishonest behavior or if we have spoken somewhere lies we should be confident or we should have that courage to tell the truth we do mistakes in our life and we should accept the mistakes and tell to our the people who are in our surrounding in our family and we should learn to accept our mistakes what will happen if we try to speak it out we learn to be honest and we learn that not to create such mistake again and the members also will guide us next time and avoid us from doing the same mistake and we will be honest in our work and we will have a healthy relationship when we form the habit of being honest when we move on in public life we as represent as an honest personality in public uh, place then we get better public facilities and people respect us more than a special respect we can gain in the social life if we have an honest personality we can increase the work efficiency we can do our work more nicely and we will give, live a happy life and a disciplined life advantages of cooperation so when we are having a one thing in our hand what does our parents tell us ha ah, you play with him or you play with others also you give it to him or her so help each other or learn to cooperate yes if anyone needs that particular thing more than you you should try to give him and you should try to cooperate him in his work so in our family we cooperate with each other or when we are playing a game the players also cooperate with one other and then we play a good game or a healthy game or a sportsmanship game and we develop the personality of sportsman yes or sportsmanship we try to accept the defeat and we learn how to be happy in the win and defeat also instead of the feeling of cooperation only with sports but in our day to day life also we should cooperate with each other with our family members friends or the people around you or the work which is there you should do it and help others and try to fulfill the work or complete the work and develop the personality or develop the value of cooperation and cooperate each other in fairs in rallies and gatherings yes to organize particular program a marriage function it cannot be done in a good manner it cannot be a successful program unless and until there is cooperation of each other next value which is told in this lesson is tolerance that we should try to accept others uh, values or others drawbacks suppose if you are good in one thing then you should try to make him understand that i am good in one thing so i will help you out of it or if someone is thinking is different for one particular decision then you should say okay i will not take decision in this you will take the decision and i will follow you or if someone needs one thing from you and you also need what you will say okay you take this thing from me now and afterwards i will use that thing in this manner when we are with family and friends sometimes we may not agree with each other every time then we must try to understand and we should take a back our decision and respect others decision and we should learn to tolerate yes we should have that tolerance and that broad mindedness if this value is there within you you also developed a good personality a well developed personality where you learn to be tolerant yes you do not you can will you can live without that thing also if you develop that personality you can lead your life with other option if you develop the personality of tolerance 
people from various religion caste culture are living in our country so it is necessary for everyone to be tolerant and broad minded yes diversity can be preserved only through tolerance and diversity we learn so many things from it and it encourages us to think for others and we can solve the problems in our environment by being broad minded yes we should not be that we want the same thing or we want it means want it we should not be adept okay for a particular thing broad mindedness means you should show your behavior or your acceptance to others opinions or belief or behavior that are unusual or different from your own gender equality gender equality means the two individuals are mentioned here that is boy and girl men and women these are equal human beings they have equal respect they should be treated equally and have this should have the same rights if we, may, we should not think that women are low and man is a high human being no yes they they are they are equal in respect and they must respect one another in the company of friends or in the society or in our family also that man is more higher and women is lower this type of inequality or gender inequality should not be in family also and in the society we must maintain this sense of equality as citizens when we grow up if we try to think the gender equality also even we are in social surroundings or in public life if we take this behavior this sense of equality our living world our public life our social life will be equal and it will develop more than the now the which the standard is there it will develop in a more better manner it will make more progress food clothing shelter and health education are the needs of human being they are the similar needs of men and women and each human being requires these things and we must fulfill the needs of man also and women also we should not think that only man requires these needs and women does not require these needs and then we will make progress in our society so from this lesson we have learnt the important values for a good and healthy social life and decision making power also contribute to a good and happy family and a happy social life or the happy world or a progress in the world we should develop good values and these values should be passed on to the other social parts or we should be an example in the society and others should follow this example and we should live in a good value of thinking and in this manner a good and undiscriminate human life we should have and live happily